So one of the things I love about NHC the most is that it's literally me and my two friends making music the way it was when I was a kid. We just got in a room and started playing because that's what we loved. The band came as a, a sort of a, a friendship co-op, music co-op, and the most democratic way I've ever made music. I think the music we're making varies from day to day. Different ideas, you know, get peppered in and we just react. It's like the best idea wins. Taylor and I have been working together for years. So Taylor wanted me to more produce this than engineer, so we brought in a young engineer, Robert Stevenson, who's amazing. We typically come in here, get the seed of an idea, write the idea, record the idea, and finish the idea within that day. So by the time we come to the next song, or the next recording day, it's just a whole different framework, a whole different mindset, um, because we write and record at the same time. This studio, in particular Taylor's home studio, kept evolving over the years. It started as a simple 16 track, and we had some converters, and we operated like that for a long time. And so we decided we wanted to expand and jump to 24, and, we, and I noticed that we could actually expand to 24 with a carbon using the existing analog trees we had going through the light pipe. We could get our 16 channels into the carbon via the fiber optic cable, and then the carbon had the eight additional mic or line inputs, which I like because those line inputs we use a lot. We use two or three additional microphones to take care of the things we weren't using with our 16-track studio, we couldn't get to, didn't have access to. You know, a lot of people are recording at home now with the advent of Pro Tools. It's become a lot easier to make studios at your house. It's morphed the entire industry. You know, Pro Tools has allowed us and allowed everybody, for good or bad, to be their own producer, songwriter, engineer, and not have to depend on a professional studio. So the game's wide open. I love the flexibility. I love having the immediate playback and isolation and all the different plugins that we have that are at our fingertips. People ask me, well, how'd you get so fast at Pro Tools? I was like, well, part of that's because for working with Taylor Hawkins for years, because he's got so much energy that I, you know, literally you're, you're kind of in the hot seat when you're engineering records, and so you have to learn to move quickly and fast and all those things. We don't like to tune vocals. We don't like to fix drums. We like to get raw performances, but then be able to walk into the modern world of Pro Tools. Because I really do think rock and roll should always be performance-based and real. When it comes to what we're trying to accomplish with NHC, every song is its own story. So we don't have what I would call a sound, because I think that every song varies from song to song. One song's a real hard rocker. One song's got more of a goth vibe to it. One is really experimental. Anything goes in NHC.